When I was working on my PhD, one day I had seen this chart about uh, why you should start investing early. And what really uh, caught my eye was that if you delayed contributing to your 401k by even just five years, which is not a lot of time for a lot of people, right? A lot of people blink their eyes and five years have gone by, right? Five years ago, I had broken up with a girl because she wanted children and I wasn't ready for children. I, and to, to this day, I'm still not ready for children, right? So it gives you an idea of how short five years is. But on the chart, if you delayed investing by five years, it looked like you could never catch up. And what was really scary was that um, they did a, some statistics and showed that if you're 35 years old and you have nothing to your name, you'll, you'll probably never get a chance to retire. Uh, I'll let you take a look at those charts. But it dawned on me that the converse of that is if you should start early, you should probably keep your body healthy so that you don't run out of time early as well, right? And it dawned on me that, see, if, you, if you're uh, talking about how much you lose by not contributing to your 401k for five years, right, five years late, that's the same as if you lost five years of life expectancy. And when I look around me, it's not hard to lose five years, right? If you smoke cigarettes, that's easily five years, probably more. If you eat junk food regularly, if you don't come out to the trail to exercise, there are so many habits that, 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 that shave five to 10 years, right? Which is just as bad as contributing to your 401k five or 10 years late, right? Now, um, it, and then it dawned on me that by extension, it wasn't just extra con contributions uh, to the account that, that, that I benefited when I slowed down the aging process, right? So for example, this past year, I wrote um, the number one of backgammon AI in the world. Um, I, I, I got very lucky because um, that first week of quarantine back in March, uh, I, uh, I was inspired to write the number one backgammon game in the world. I, 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 was just, I was just really lonely out of my mind and it's done very well at the conference. Now, it would be really nice to have five or 10 extra years to work on that, right? And, but the biggest benefit, the biggest benefit is that I have more space to take risk, right? If I were to marry the wrong person, if I get involved in the wrong career, if I were to spend time in the hospital, right, or, or get really ill, terminal cancer or something, or not terminal, but get a really bad case of an illness, which I probably already reduced my risk of getting in the first place, the loss of time from those bad choices or the, the the illness would be greatly diminished if I had extra life expectancy now right now the thing is not only that but the fact that I can afford to take the risk of marrying the wrong person allows me to take more risk and to reap more rewards out of it right um, it's kind of like uh, actually it's very analogous to your uh, investments right if you had if you had 50 years to invest versus 30 years not only does your uh, investment gener uh, have more time to compound, but you could potentially invest in riskier assets, right? Uh, if you had uh, five years, you would probably put most of your money in bonds. If you had 20 years, you would probably put a greater percentage in stocks or maybe precious metals, right? Uh, or maybe even Bitcoin or cryptocurrency, right? You could afford to do that, right? And so you get a longer rate of return for a higher amount of time, right? If, if I have more time to decide who to marry, I could date more aggressively, right? And also have, uh, if I do make a mistake, be able to recover from that, right? It, it dawned on me. Now, here's the problem. Uh, I, I, I get to buy myself more time for these big, crucial life decisions, but only when they don't involve somebody else, right? So right now, I uh, am at a major junction in my life. I got to decide a major life decision in the coming six to 12 months. And the problem is the, the, the other person involved in the decision probably isn't anti-aging or slowing down uh, their uh, uh, aging process. And so um, I'm being constrained by that person's clock, right? Uh, which is a shame, right? When it's on my clock, I get to extend time all the time, right? At least I feel that way, right? So for example, I invest in my 401k a lot more aggressively than somebody my age on paper, right? I, I invest almost like I'm an 18 year old. Uh, 
because I feel like I have more time to uh, to, to 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 recover because I take good care of my uh, immune system. Uh, the, unfortunately, when the decision involves somebody else, right, a family member or a potential future family member or or a, a business partner, I don't have the luxury of doing that, right? That's why I'm making these, these videos to convince more people to do what I do so that we can all have more time for big life decisions, right?